Those of us who are still breathing cannot repay the sacrifice of those who gave their lives defending us. But at the very least, we can and we must remember them. Men like Major Charles Joseph Loring, United States Air Force. 61 years ago, next month, a bloody and hellacious war broke out on the Korean Peninsula. That war claimed 34,000 American lives and another 415,000 South Koreans. Major Loring, a POW in Europe, during World War II, continued his service during the Korean War as an F-80 pilot. On November the 22nd, 1952, Major Lawrence's aircraft was hit repeatedly by ground fire as he was dive bombing enemy gun positions. Instead of withdrawing, Charles Lawrence made a decision to sacrifice his life for this country. At 4,000 feet altitude, he claimed his he directed his F-80 at the gun positions that were threatening other pilots and friendly ground forces. He began another dive bomb. He deliberately crashed into the enemy emplacements and eliminated the threat. For his actions, Major Lauren was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Memorial Day is for men like Major Lauren it is also for women like Marine Major Meccan McClung. Major McClung was a public affairs officer who grew up in California and completed in six Ironman competitions. Having served in Iraq while working for a defense contractor in 2004, Megan McClung re-entered active duty and returned to the country in 2006. It was during the routine performance of her job in a place where danger is always part of the routine that she was killed by a roadside bomb while escorting members of the media in Iraq. A journalist who worked with Major McClung wrote, she was a sharp and talented young woman who can never be replaced. Sadly, none of more than one million men and women who have died in service to this nation in wars and conflicts since 1775 can be replaced. Most were young in the prime of their lives. Some were husbands, wives, fathers, or mothers, all left a nation that is in their debt. If you ask these heroes before they died how they would like to be honored, most would probably say, take care of my family. The empty seat at the dinner table the smaller gathering on Thanksgiving, and the daughter who has no father to walk her down the wedding aisle are painful reminders that they are gone. We must continue to live up to President Lincoln's promise to not just care for him who shall have borne the battle, but for his widow and his orphan. Remembering our fallen once again here is not enough. We must continue the legacy for which they died the causes of democracy, decency, and patriotism. While Memorial Day is intended to honor our fallen, we should not forget those who have pledged to make the same sacrifice if called upon. The young men and women still serving in Iraq, Afghanistan, the United States, and in more than 130 foreign lands, we must continue to bear witness for those who never returned from the deserts of the Middle East, the jungles of Vietnam, the Forgotten War in Korea, the islands in the Pacific, and the European continent. May God bless you, and may God bless America.